When it comes to budget ANC earbuds, I think we can't go anywhere more budget than what Huawei can offer. And with what we have on hand today, I think we just found a super solid piece. Today we're taking a look at Huawei's take on the ANC earbuds and with many examples out there to learn from, I'm excited to share with you guys on what Huawei can offer. Welcome to a review of the Huawei TA1. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with a review of the Huawei TA1. So Huawei have graciously sent me today's copy of the TA1 for review and although they have sent me these earbuds, I will definitely be providing my honest opinion on what I think about these earbuds. So coming from the original Huawei T29, honestly I was a bit reserved, but after testing these earbuds, my gosh are they awesome. These earbuds retails for about 120 Malaysia Ringgit and that's about US 30. To be honest, most normal earbuds at US 30 are already considered cheap, but for an ANC earbuds, that's insane. So if you're interested in getting this earbuds do check out some of my links in the description below and it'll definitely help out the channel a lot so the ta1 is your run of the mill airpods pro alternative that has a very similarly styled case and earbuds but comes in a more squarish design the case is made of a glossy finish very similar to the t29 that we've looked at previously which means that these earbuds will easily scratch Pro tip here, with cases like these, get either a white or a lighter colour and it will hide scratches better. The front of the case, you get a Huawei branding embossed at the front and that makes up the entire look of the case, making it very clean and not cluttered. At the bottom of the case, you get a USB-C charging port and next to that, you'll be getting a charging indicator that only tells you if the case is charging or if it's full. Doesn't really tell you the battery percentage of the case and next to that, you'll also be getting a pairing button right next to it. The lid opening action is also super smooth and solid and I really like it and making it feel a little bit more like the AirPods Pro lid. The lid itself, similar to the AirPods Pro, doesn't hold up on its own and it'll slam shut when you tilt the case around. And inside, you see the earbuds sitting in a very similar fashion to most AirPods Pro earbuds and taking the earbuds out, you'll notice that the tip of the earbuds is shaped exactly like the AirPods Pro, just less complicated. Like I've always said, I think these are the most comfortable style of ear tips and it's nice that Huawei is copying that. The other parts of the earbuds do not represent the AirPods Pro so much. You get a square flat surface where the touch sensor is and apart from that, these are pretty typical in-ear style earbuds. So battery performance on these are not the best, coming in at about 4 hours of playback time and I believe this is without ANC on, playing at medium volume. The case gives you an additional 16 hours of playback time but honestly not the best option out there if you ask me. But for a truly budget ANC earbuds, I think that this is a flaw that we can look past. The earbuds in the case takes about 2 hours to fully charge. The TA1 gives you what's necessary to give you a nice listening experience so it's not crazy with its features. It comes with a Bluetooth 5.0 that supports the AAC and SBC audio codec which is pretty normal. And the earbuds also comes with a decent IPX4 water resistant rating which is pretty normal for an ANC earbuds nowadays. And should protect you from sweating and cymbal splashes, definitely don't submerge these in water. These earbuds don't use the latest mirroring technology but still manages to give you a pretty good independent playback on both of these earbuds earbuds. The left earbuds does seem to be the master earbuds, so if you put the left side back into the case, music will pause but just tap play on the other side and music will start playing on the right side. Lastly, there is no multipoint connectivity on these earbuds, so no luck connecting them to multiple devices. So ANC is one expect on these earbuds that I'm pleasantly surprised with these earbuds. It's honestly not the mind-blowing type of ANC but you gotta remember that these are US 30. So the fact that it comes with ANC that works is already mind-boggling. I will say that these are pretty effective ANC for cancelling most low-harming 
constant noises. It doesn't block out everything 100% but definitely effective with engine hums or road noise. When you have people talking around you, these will effectively lower down their volume but definitely doesn't cut out all those chatters. With music playing, they feel great and you can be engrossed with what you're listening to but if you focus hard enough, you can still hear some ambient noise leak in. Compared to the competition, if the AirPods Pro and the Sony cuts out about 80% of ambient noise and the Transmart Apollo Boat cuts off about 70%, I would rate the Awe TA1 to work at about 60%. In comparison, the QCY HT01, which costs about twice as much as these earbuds, does a respectable 75%. But if you ask me, at US 30, I'll be happy to live with the 60% effectiveness. This time round with Awe, I'm super impressed with what I'm hearing out of the box. No EQ adjustment, just pure tuning and earbuds performance. This sounds really good. Bass on these are crazy good at higher volumes and anything above 50%, you really feel the impact of the bass. At lower volumes, it does tend to fade away a little bit since these are very basic earbuds with not much technology to intelligently control the EQ. Clarity is also fantastic on these earbuds and even with the bass going on, mids, highs and vocals do not get drowned out at all and does a great job projecting them across. Soundstage wise, these are not the widest or the airiest earbuds but instrument separations on these is really impressive and watching movies on these are really enjoyable. Coming from the Awe T29, I'm happy to say that the Awe TA1 is miles ahead of the T29. Call quality is clear, no choppiness and although you can still hear the background noises, it still projects your voice through nice and clearly. Anyways, let's take a listen to the call quality test of these earbuds. So this is a test to see if the Awe TA1 is a good earbuds for making phone calls. So this is me speaking a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from this earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. Latency performance on the TA1 is also really good with no noticeable delay when watching videos on YouTube or Netflix. Gaming does still have a very minor delay and only if you look for it, you'll notice it, else it's pretty much not noticeable. Let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So this is a test to see whether or not these earphones actually have a latency problem. So what I'm going to do now is clap into the microphone and you should be able to tell. So here we go. And if you see the hands not synchronized with the sound, then you will know that these earphones actually have a latency problem. When I reviewed the Awe T29, I complained about the controls as it wasn't sensitive enough and I can't really control anything on that. With the TA1, it's a pretty similar story, although it markets to have a whole range of controls, I can't quite control most of it. To play or pause media or pick up phone calls, tap once on either side of the earbuds and it will play or pause your media. So there you go. Another controls that works well is the ANC toggle, so press and hold on either side of the earbuds for about 2 seconds and it will toggle you between ANC on, pass through mode or ANC off. So to skip tracks forwards, double tap on your right earbuds and it will skip your tracks forward and double tap on your left earbuds and it will skip backwards. So the manual also says to long press for volume controls but all I do is to get the ANC to toggle between the different modes and I can't successfully control the volume controls. So the track skipping is also very fiddly and only very certain times I get to skip forwards and sometimes I don't get to, so that's something to think about. So I still think that Awe needs to work on their controls. So if you're looking for a super budget ANC earbuds that works okay and sounds good, I think this is the one to go. I know that these earbuds aren't perfect with glitchy controls and relatively poor battery life, but if US 30 outweighs those flaws, then I think these are for you. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.